you just love how they continue to deflect by calling it a hard right conspiracy theory, despite the fact that Epps is on video for multiple days literally telling people to enter the Capitol. I think it really exposes them for who they are and why nobody should trust anything they say. So Epps is finally charged. Oddly, a day after independent journalist Stephen Horn released previously unseen footage of Epps at the front, apparently egging people on as things heat up. Who, by the way, was just convicted of four misdemeanor charges that could land him in prison for years, simply for walking around the Capitol and documenting the event. But what exactly are these charges? Well, let's just say that you're gonna do one of these after I tell you. Oh, come on! But first, a quick capitalism break with Noble Gold. Do you wanna take control of your financial future, but just don't know where to start? Noble Gold Investments understands. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments make it easy. Right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free five ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. So why wait? Let's get started right now. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there is always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. All right, so what are these charges? Oh, I'm sorry, not charges, just charge. As reported by the administration's press, Ray Epps, center of January 6th conspiracy theory, is charged with a misdemeanor over the Capitol riot. Capitol riot? Why not Capitol insurrection? Interesting that they changed the wording when Ray Epps is the subject. Ray Epps, a former Marine who became the center of a January 6th conspiracy theory, has been charged with a misdemeanor offense in connection with the U.S. Capitol riot. Epps, who claimed in a lawsuit filed this year that Fox News news channel made him a scapegoat for the Capitol riot is charged with disorderly or disruptive conduct on restricted grounds. <laughs> Fox News and Tucker Carlson are to blame for what's happening to Ray Epps and not Ray Epps, who I cannot stress enough is on video for multiple days telling people to enter the Capitol. Let's go. I'm going to put it out there. I'm probably going to go to jail for the tomorrow. We need to go into the Capitol. Isn't it interesting that Ray Epps didn't end up in jail, but the guy calling him out as a Fed, Baked Alaska, is currently sitting in prison simply for being in the Capitol. The level of cognitive dissonance on display here by our supposed fourth estate is concerning because there's no way that Ray Epps wasn't working for the government in some capacity, given that one, the fact that he was never charged in the first place. And it took all of this to make even that happen. And two, he was defended and treated as a literal victim by the Democrats and the media who are clearly bloodthirsty for anybody associated with January 6th to the point that grandmas with cancer and actual documentary journalists are being convicted for serious crimes. And three, even now that he's oddly being charged, it's only with a slap on the wrist. And that is insanely revealing, given what he's on video doing and what he's openly admitted in text messages where he literally admits to orchestrating it. Literally. <laughs> literally. 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 Conspiracists saw it as the true confession of an agent provocateur. I was in front with a few others. I also orchestrated it. Explain this to me. I was boasting to my nephew. I helped get people there. I, I was directing people to the Capitol that morning. Man. According to Julie Kelly from the Happy Hour podcast, this lame single charge tells us everything we need to know about Ray Epps. No obfuscation felony, no civil disorder charge, not even a trespassing on restricted grounds misdemeanor, which you'll remember is exactly what that independent journalist Steve Horn was charged with. Can't even tell you the last time I saw information misdemeanor version of indictment for a J6er on a sole count. Again, this entire charade is revealing just how corrupt our government and our media have become. The only reason that Ray Epps is a subject of scrutiny is because nothing about him adds up. The press defending him and casting any legitimate questions as so-called hard right conspiracy theories shows that they're trying to cover something up. And unfortunately it works because your average Joe out there is just gonna believe them anytime they call something a conspiracy theory. So I'm gonna keep following this story and I will keep you all up to date, but for now that's all I have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.